Well, I grew up in the state of Georgia, but I got to Texas as fast as I could. And a lot of people send me messages and they tell me they don't like Texas at all and they don't understand why I do. Well, for those of you with that attitude, chances are it's probably best for you to stay away. If you don't like George Strait, Chuck Norris, Willie Nelson, Nolan Ryan, Stevie Ray Vaughan, or Towns Van Zandt, then you're just not going to get along in Texas. We'll keep your health insurance premiums lower if you just stay home because we got a Whataburger around the corner at all times and it's open up 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Somebody give me a wad of chicken with cheese and add some jalapenos and I like it at 3 a.m. We got every topography known to man from the arid canyons of the Big Ben all the way to the covered forest of the Big Thicket. We don't need you to have difficulty trying to navigate around that rough terrain. No, we don't pay state income tax, and I know you're proud to do so in the state where you come from. It's true that most of our high school football teams are better than your Division II college teams, and we believe that we got the best music barbecue and beer from Rar and Sons Brewing all the way down to Shiner, Texas. And guess what? You can't evade obscurity when you're in a foreign country and they ask where you're from and you say Texas. Nobody follows up by saying, where's that? I'm afraid Delaware just can't pass that same test. We'll keep the fat and cholesterol off of you because we're going to make and eat all of the Blue Bell ice cream and the Dublin Dr. Pepper. And in New York, if you get hot on a summer day, you got to open up a fire hydrant and stand in the street. We're going to suffer through it and float down the beautiful Comal River and the scenic Guadalupe. Yeah, I know. We're suffering. We're going to keep on making waffle irons in the shape of our state. Y'all don't have to. And we're going to keep on making bathing suits for women that look like our flag. Yes, the toilets at the Bucky's gas station are probably cleaner than the bathrooms in your home, but that's our business. We'll keep it to ourselves. You know, this state's so bad just to deter you from coming into it. I think we ought to start charging admission at interstates 10, 20, 30, 35, and 40, just so you'll rethink it before you drive through. Hey, God bless. Love y'all. Stay home. Remember the Alamo. Just kidding. Y'all come in anytime you want. Just don't complain.